The middle child of Komatsu's family of large mining wheel loaders has been updated to a new generation. And there's a lot to talk about with this new pit loader. Most of all, two new features that automate quite a bit of what this loader is built to do. Hey everyone, I'm Wayne Grayson. Welcome into Equipment World, where each week we bring you new videos on the latest in construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks. In this video, we will be talking about the new Komatsu WA900-8 and all of its improvements over the previous generation, the WA900-3E0, including more power, a new chassis, a new cab, a new bucket, and a bunch of new tech aimed at increasing efficiency and cycle times while making a wheel loader easier to use for new operators. Let's get into it. Because the WA900-8 is built to thrive in quarries, let's start with the improved durability of this machine. Komatsu has redesigned the chassis of the WA900 with a new front and rear frame. They've also rebuilt the Z-Bar loader linkage, and the changes add up to what the company says is the most durable chassis in this model's history. Weighing in at 256,618 pounds, the WA900-8 is built to load haul trucks between 70 and 150 tons. Specifically, Komatsu says this is the perfect machine for loading in limestone pits, thanks to an all new bucket design that achieves higher and more consistent fill factors. This new loader is powered by a 12 cylinder, 899 horsepower Komatsu engine, making it about 5% more powerful than the WA900-3E0 that it replaces. The tier four final engine employs dual diesel particulate filters and does not require diesel exhaust fluid or DEF. Thanks to that extra power and the addition of Komatsu's smart loader logic system, as well as load sensing hydraulics and a throttle lock with auto deceleration, Komatsu says the WA900-8 is able to maintain higher performance for longer periods of time, improving cycle times and production over the previous generation. But let's move on to technology and the two, if not most interesting, definitely more controversial features of this machine. And they're called semi-automatic approach and dump and automatic dig. Now, automatic dig is exactly what it sounds like. It automates most of the work or the motions involved in digging material out of a pile. So once you've pulled the loader up to a pile with the bucket at a digging ready height, which Komatsu classifies as three feet, nine inches or lower, you then push this dedicated auto dig switch and let the system do just about all of the work for you. An automatic kick down switch can lower the machine into first gear. And as you push the bucket into the pile, the system automatically curls the bucket to collect material before lifting the boom back to horizontal. Of course, there is a limitation to this system. Komatsu says that auto dig works best when you're working with a uniform material such as stockpile. And they note when you're working with blasted material or bank material, most operators should keep the feature turned off. Now, moving on to semi-automatic approach and dump. This feature is actually two features in one. You have semi-automatic approach and you have semi-automatic dump. And while these two features can be used in tandem to basically automate the entire process of loading a haul truck, um, you can use them separately as well. And we're gonna start with semi-automatic approach, which is designed to make trips to haul trucks that end in a V-shaped approach faster and easier. When you enable semi-automatic approach, this system automatically raises the boom to horizontal whenever the machine is placed in reverse with a full bucket. And once you move the machine forward toward the truck, the boom is raised to an upper stop point that is preset by the operator. After you dump the bucket and move the machine back into reverse, the machine automatically raises the bucket to level and then lowers the boom back to a position that is also preset by the operator. Now, like I said earlier, you can use semi-automatic dump in tandem with semi-automatic approach. So basically you would use semi-automatic approach to get up to the truck. And when it comes time to dump, 
you would have the semi-automatic dump feature enabled to actually handle the process of dumping the load. And here's how that works. With the push of a button, semi-automatic dump automatically holds the boom position while the bucket dumps until it is horizontal before then raising the boom again while continuing to tilt the bucket to full dump position. And that's basically a really long-winded way of saying it does a good job of dumping the load while you sit back and watch. With the WA900-8 and this combination of automatic digging and nearly automatic approach and dumping, Komatsu has basically automated just about 90% of what this machine is built to do. And for any operators of this machine that choose to use all of these new automation features, all it basically leaves them to do is steer the machine into and out of a pile and basically make sure that they don't tip over the machine somehow on the way to the haul truck. Of course, most operators worth their salt won't use any of these new features, which is fine because Komatsu says they are primarily intended to get new operators into these machines and operating them efficiently in less time. However, Komatsu does hope that some veteran operators out there choose to take advantage of these new features. And that's because veteran operators more than anyone know how repetitive and tiring operating a wheel loader can be during a full workday. And those operators that do choose to use these features can expect to drastically reduce their fatigue during a workday. Speaking of things aimed at turning operator fatigue into more operator comfort, like the new Deer L-Series loaders that we talked about last week, this new Komatsu WA900 also features standard joystick steering instead of the steering wheel and a redesigned cab. The new WA900-8 cab now features a pillarless design that improves visibility. And inside this new cab, you'll also find a standard trainer seat alongside a higher capacity heated and ventilated air suspension seat and a high resolution seven inch monitor. Entering and exiting the cab is also a little bit easier now thanks to new left and right 45 degree stairways as well as walkways that run in front of the cab and along the rear counterweight. Plus Komatsu says the ride on these machines is smoother now thanks to an electronically controlled suspension. You should also see less tire slip with these new loaders thanks to a traction control system and a modulating clutch that work to match tractive effort to the ground conditions that you're working in. An available option on the WA900-8 is ComVision, which uses a combination of six cameras to give you a bird's eye view through the in-cab monitor. The system also monitors your surroundings and can sound an alarm when an obstacle or a coworker is detected in the work area. The WA900-8 also has several improvements and new features aimed at making maintenance and daily checks of the machine easier. These maintenance focused features include the stairways and catwalks that we mentioned earlier, also a swing out reversible hydraulic fan for radiator cleaning, battery and starter isolators, a machine immobilization switch, a ground level service center for access to drain and filter ports for the transmission, hydraulic, engine oil and coolant, and live oil sampling boards, a centralized station for oil, fuel and CCV filters with standard LED lighting, and a fast fueling system. Plus, Komatsu says you'll no longer need a laptop when troubleshooting your machine, as the new WA900 displays its machine diagnostics on the end cab display. A cold weather package is also an available option on the WA900-8, and it includes hydraulic, transmission, engine oil, and coolant electric heaters. So that will wrap it up on the new Komatsu WA900-8 wheel loader. Obviously, there is a lot of new stuff happening with this machine. The uh, new durability and maintenance features on this machine are excellent, uh, but clearly the most controversial or eyebrow raising uh, new features to talk about with this machine are going to be the automation features like semi-automatic approach and dump and automatic dig. But what do you think about the WA900's new automation features? Do you think that features like semi-automatic approach and dump and, and basically automating all of the digging process into and out of piles, do you think that those are good ways to train up new operators? Do you think that they're good ways to reduce operator fatigue? Do you think operator fatigue is a problem in need of a solution? Let us know your thoughts on these new automation features and everything else about this machine in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching Equipment World. We appreciate your time. If you like this video or found the information in it helpful in any kind of way, do us a favor and hit the like button below. That helps us out a lot. And if you want more videos on construction equipment, work trucks and pickup trucks, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you're receiving up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. 
Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.